back to the Ascendant Lands. Last time we left off, we had a fascinating few rounds of combat where a magical mansion door opened up, showing a another Akarloth, another Narfeshni, and another Erenye waiting to come through. The Akarloth the did come through, but with um, Trigertha's la enlarged figure, she was able to block the door for a quite a long time before um, she moved out of the way and allowed for Krusk's dragon spirit to take the place instead. Could have done that sooner. But <laughs> but once the um, dragon spirit did pass, yeah. Once, once the dragon spirit did pass, um, it allowed for the the remaining Eren and the, and the uh, now Feshi to teleport out and begin to attack Talari, which is currently surrounded by two now Um oh, yeah. What's what's left on the board as it stands are the two now and three Eren but under Talari's concentration. She is maintain currently maintaining a banisher spell to allow to prevent a pit fiend from being here. If her concentration breaks in five more rounds, um, then the pit fiend will come back. So that's the scenario as it were. And we start combat with Thoradin and your many berserkers. What would you like to do? Uh, I mean, I have no idea what I was going to do before, but um, I'm going to do what Thorin does best and go for the biggest dude and fuck him up. Um, I'm going to go for the Alfeshni, I think. Um, Which how one many do you berserkers do I have? I've got four. You got four berserkers left. Yeah, okay. one, two, three, four. Also, the I next enemy flying. to move is one of the Aranias. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, you are aware the... that this, this Erenie will attack before Talari goes. Could be a problem. Sorry, which Erenie was that? The blue dot one. The blue dot, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't really know what the turn order is. Matt, put so it in the, think... the chat earlier. Put it in the chat. That's how oh, really? come I know who's next. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at it earlier. We've been given a sneak preview. Yeah, this is this is, yeah, this is... having mercy on our little brains. Oh, well, considering considering you've had this will be the start. This is the start of your sixth round of combat. You've had enough opportunities to understand where people are, so it's pretty fair. So I can go Ernie blue, now Feshni red. We'll probably go to Lari. Nadia can probably look after that. <clears throat> How's the blue Ernie doing? Uh, she's bloodied. She's bloodied. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the problem Don't is the Berserkers can't really get her, so it's just going to be me. Oh, can you not? Um, that's if I can reach her, which... Oh no, I can have 35 feet. I was going to say, gosh darn it, the only person who can no, move no. before the enemy and you're saying you can't even get there? No, no, yeah, I can go for yeah. 35 feet, so I'm going to... I think I'm still in the air, so I'm... Is she in yep. the air? Yeah. Okay. She's yeah, currently, like... Five feet, so basically on level with the cliff, but she's not on level with the. She's not actually on, standing on the cliff yet. Gotcha, gotcha. But you can stand um, basically in front of her. Yeah, I am gonna go for. Her. All right, let's hear it. What are the ACs? Oh, I think the AC is really high. Just wondering if I should great work master. Bad. I get plus fourteen, which is still pretty high, but I kind of have to get. I was Sick doing all right hitting. <laughs> I was doing yeah. all right hitting one, and I don't have plus fourteen, so the Eminiers aren't that aren't that bad. Okay, uh, I'm going to take the of, risk. Like, hit dice. Yeah, yeah. I ideally want to kind of kill this bitch, so <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try try and grow work master and do as much damage as possible. Um, I will attack. Okay, nine, sweet. So that's twenty three to hit. That is a hit. Okay. You and your Plus 14 is ridiculous, man. Plus 14 is with the penalty yeah. as well. I know, right? I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I need to it's so painful. painful. It's so painful. Then again, he did nearly die for it. He did. That's true. Uh, what's my rage damage? Plus 3. Alright, so that's 35 damage. 
Okay. For the first hit. Okay. The still standing. Yeah, I think I've just got extra attack, but I have to hit a crit or reduce it to zero to get a third attack. I think. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll go for the second attack. Oh shit, my friends. Ooh. Dude, that is like almost max. I got 19, so that's like, I don't know, ridiculous. 35 or something to hit. <laughs> something ridiculous, yeah. I think hit. you probably hit them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just gonna go out no. on a limb here. And you're all enough. Three. 38 Special. damage. 38 damage. <laughs> How would you like to do this? Oh, yes. Three. Um... No, Thoradin, you the man. Oh, I think Thoradin needs like a way of. Do I go for a decapitation? I can't remember. What do I do? Um, follow, follow your, follow your follow your heart. heart. Do a gears of war and a curb stomp on it. You want to make your previous has been decapitation. That, mm. that tends to be a theme. Well, you can't always decapitate. It can't Friday. Oh, if you like, that could be his thing. The executor, <laughs> you know, could be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give him ideas like that. Curb stomp. Come on, curb stomp. You're uh, in the air. Curb you can't... stomp someone who's in mid air. Yeah, yeah you, you can curb stomp them on. Dra drag them down, throw it to the ground, curb stomp. There you go. What are we in? Like, the wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> WWE? Uh, I'm throwing in 100% out of all of us would be the wrestler. Can we? Can we oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would. He's got the flair for the dramatic. I'm going to do a, a little winning pose. Or, Thorin's gonna do a little pirouette. He's gonna like slice, slice her stomach and do a little pirouette and then like slice her throat or something like that. Nice. Ooh. I like it. Nice little Spicy. finesse or something like Witcher style. I like it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. You managed to fully just eviscerate this area. In the Congratulations. Nice. Well, I can uh, hit the next one then. You can. Great Weapon Master. Oh shit, yeah. Mm. Let's forget um, Great Weapon Master does that. I think as long yeah. as it's in five feet, which kind of seems like it. No, is. you can move. Do your movement still? You still oh, okay. I think I have like an extra five feet, so I can kind of move. Yeah, you got yeah, very yeah. close. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll move within range. Um, and yeah, I'll go to attack. Great work, master. Nice. That's sixteen. So yeah, like thirty to hit. The hit. And okay, not too great on the damage. Thirty-one damage. Not bad, not bad. Still going strong. A bit bloodied now, but still going strong. Um, that is my bonus action, so that's all I can do. Nice. Sweet. What would you like your berserkers to do? Okay, so yeah, they're on the ground. Um, mm -hmm. I'd probably say the weaker, now Fashni, they go for... Oh, no, wait, sorry, no, no. Let me get to turn order. Uh, now Fashni are... I guess that's the red one. The red one, yeah. yeah. That's the... So yeah, I'll yeah. have the Berserkers go, go for that one, because that's the ne next one in oh, turn order. Okay. I'm going to call him Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald. We'll go like that, shall we? Sorry. Around the red Nefesh team. Okay, roll me your Berserker attacks. I'm just getting the sheet up. I think it's plus five to hit. It is, yeah. Okay. Which I get, they get to get advantage as well, because they're... Uh... They do? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay, does it 18 hit? It <laughs> does... Yes. Hit enough, actually. Okay. Oh, now 20. Sweet. Hey. Hey. Uh, and then a 22. And a little final one. The final one is an unnatural 20. Nice. So you've got three hits, four, four hits, one of them a critical hit. Okay. How do we do crit it? It's just a max. Max. max, max damage, 12. and then you roll your dice. So it's 12, so it's for, for Berserk, it's easy. It's just 12 plus a d12 plus three. Yeah. I can't remember if these things were resistant. Most likely are. Everyone's, everything seems to be. Yeah. I can't remember if, are any of these now fashion these bloodied? Or they still go strong. Oh, one of them is the red one is bloody. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. we can get uh, well. That's yeah, one is not. Yeah. Well, that one just came. The out, other one is basically fresh. fresh. Yeah. Break, yeah. That's uh, forty-nine total damage. Across all four berserkers. Yeah, all four with the crit. Yeah. Okay. That now, firstly, is still going strong. Not with a lot left to go, but it's still going strong. 
Right. Okay. Is there anything you and your 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 kin wish to do? That is it. That's it for now. Yeah. Okay, Talari, it is your go. What would you like to do? Well, I'm going to have to do another sort of mass healing. Um, I will do another mass skill wounds. Uh, it's a thirty foot sphere. We, well, who's that going to get? Who's it going to get? Everybody, everybody. Nice. So, yeah. so that Sweet. is cure mass, mass cure wounds. So I'll use that. It's three d eight plus eleven. Where's my d eight gone? No, it wasn't very good rolls. That's a, a nineteen. For everybody. Take that. That's, that's so everyone. So that's all. <clears throat> all of us. I get that as well. Because uh, I'm full health again. I know, Jude's up to six. I know, Jude's up to six. So, my, so us, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and then one of the Berserkers. Okay, yeah, I'll split to the lowest. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 two plus spell levels. That's another seven for me. Well, so Talari's on 69 uh, health. Nice. Yes. Sweet. Uh, bonus action. No, I don't think she do anything. I don't think there's a lot she can do. She can't really move. Uh, well, you my... can move, yeah, I'm not but you risk no, I'm, opportunity yeah, I'm, not, I'm not going to move. <laughs> it's, a big, uh, it's a big distinction to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't move. You can't can move. It might move. be a bad idea. Yeah, Let's yeah. put it like that. Yeah. Thank you. Be inadvised. Um, yeah, no, I don't think she'll do, she'll do anything else then. That's it. Okay. Nadia, you do sugar. What would you like to do? Burn myself over here. Get up in this guy's face. Because. Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, oh. That is a. Try to do quick math. 16 to hit, which I doubt is going to. Misses. This guy hates me. I'm going to use another one. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, I managed you to actually, be all free. Actually, you would have an advantage because you have Talari within five feet of them. Oh, excellent. Oh, roll some more dice. Hey, that's better than that's a 23. Use that, that dice. Hit. That's a hit. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Uh, that does uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 slashing damage and mm -hmm. 7 radiant damage. And your... Rage damage? Have you I added, added my that? rage damage. I added Wait. my rage damage. I'm remembering. <laughs> oh, this is the thank you for reminding me. I have advantage. This is going much better. Uh, this has also hit. Uh, and so because I got that's actually has it hit? That's twenty one. Mm -hmm. Is that hit? That's hit. Hey. Yep. Seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen slashing damage. Mm-hmm. And 11 radiant damage. Nice. I should roll an advantage dice now. The last one, however, doesn't hit. Sweet. That's some meaty damage laid down on this now, Feshni. Uh -huh. Is there anything else you wish to do? Oh, yes. I want. Oh, shit. I should have done this first. I want to switch my hunter's mark because Thorin popped the freaking Erinias. I was, had uh -huh. hunter's mark edge. You just do extra damage. It does give me extra damage. Uh, roll the extra damage. Hey, fine. okay. I'm going to swap it over to that now, Feshni. Yeah. And it gives me 1d6 extra damage. So that's... Ugh. Come on. That's seven. Perfectly average. Seven extra weapon damage. Cool. Uh, Is that across both hits? Yes, yes. I rolled twice. Wait. Can you tag me this now, Feshni? So that uh, I can remember it's Mark. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Nadia, oh. Nadia's going to like vault over the rock and properly lay into this guy. Mark. <laughs> Sorry, Tina's miming extreme shock. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody could possibly have guessed that's what she was going to do. Definitely not. Take on uh, someone your own size, you ugly git. Okay. So, it is... 
a Nalfeshnis go, um, and they they are still going to try and attack Talari. And so their first attack to so this one is the old one. So I need to see if it needs to roll. No, it doesn't roll. Uh, okay, so goes the bite. So it's for us horror nimbus after all for it. Um, oh, so I was going to cast shield because you know. Well, I'm now rolling to bite you. Um, that is a twenty-two to hit. So then, mm-hmm. you shield casting shield, yeah. Cool. So that's to twenty-five. So it's then going to claw you twice. That's a 20, a natural, and that is a 21. Nice. Funny, you're, you're preventing Crust from, like, heroically. <laughs> <laughs> With casting so, shield, you're preventing, you're preventing House yeah, from absolutely. doing the drama. <laughs> exactly. To be fair, there's going to be a lot of things hitting me, because they've got that one, that, that, uh, Erin Ye all the way over in the, in the right that's still going to come over and... Wait, oh, well, well, there's two. Um, well, there's that one, yeah. So, strategy. Feel here, what? blending into this thing image of you. Yeah. Uh, what will this irony do? It is going to fly up higher. So you get an opportunity to attack on it, Thoradin, if you wish. Yeah, I'm taking that for sure. Okay, roll, roll to attack then, please. Uh, I thought you want to hit. That's a hit. Solid damage here. Oh, I did do great work, Master. 37 damage. You must forget the stat you like. Sweet. Thank you for that. Um, okay, so an Aaron is going to fly up. It is going to fly. How far can it fly? It's going to fly its full 60 feet up. Oh. Well. Well, in this direction as well, so it's not quite 60 feet up. Um, so it's, say, for perhaps of, it's 50 feet up, and it moves across to here, which is roughly around... No, that's too far. That's too far. That's 10 feet. Actually, let's say, move down to 45 feet, so I actually distance right. Okay, there we go. It's currently 45 feet up in the air. Um, and it's going to draw its longbow and make some attacks on who's the best to hit. It's going to it's going to try and attack. <laughs> it is it I'm is going to attack I'm the a, person on their own. I'm a big large flying monk. Hi. <laughs> it is going to try and attack the person on their own. Unfortunately, for to get oh, there. Shit. But you are resistant. You're sorry. You are immune to their poison damage, which is beneficial against an area. I am. Do you have um, that thing where you can like, catch projectiles as well, or is that a different type I of can, I can deflect missiles. But That's I if you have key points. <laughs> no, 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 I can deflect it, I just can't throw it back if I don't have key points. Right, sweet. Okay, so it's going to make a wrong bow attack against you, and let's say 25. Well, that hits, but I'll deflect missiles, so, so uh, they roll the damage and then I roll. Damage, that's 8. Piercing. I mean, you don't need to roll for that because yours is a d10 plus 15 to reduce it. Oh yeah, so, so I should be fine. So <laughs> just Pling. 15. Ah, what? 15. Yeah. Yeah. Mod- Dex plus class level. Damn. I don't know why she's aiming at you, Link, because it's completely worthless. <laughs> um, but she's going to do the same because she doesn't sure. quite understand what's going on. That's a miss. Bear in mind, it's a reaction to, to do that, though, so you can only do Yeah, it yeah, so I've, I've lost my reaction. Oh, uh, okay. Sweet. So the second second attack missed, the third attack hit. So let's do it again. So it's 11 piercing and no poison for you. No poison for me. Just take it to the shoulder. Yeah, so you're back down to 9 HP. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, that's the end. Take a potion on your turn. (laughs) And funnily enough, Terigatha, it is your go. What would you like to do? Now, hide or something. They're also this one's also forty-five feet up. The red one. Okay, this one hasn't had a go yet. No. So I'd like to get its attention. So 
I'm going to come up to Pinky over here and punch him in the face. Let's have it. What am I doing? Why am I rolling on Beyond? I have some wonderful physical dice right here. And this is the slowest, glitchiest thing ever. Physical dice are the best kind of dice. God, I'm just going to... I'm just going to roll while that's attempting to do stuff in midair. That is a dirty 20. That misses. It parries your blow. I was okay. going to say, I swear I hit on a couple of 20s, but yeah, they've got this really irritating ability. Mm -hmm. um, it's a reaction though, right? So they can only do it once. Yes. So. And they it's now correct. can't attack if it's opportunity. Well, it wouldn't yeah, anyway. It doesn't matter to me. No, um, second attack. Oh, that's a that's a sixteen. That's a miss. Uh, the parry well, works. I swing, I, I swing wide and I sw uh, I swing wide and I think because I is it sorry I'm just going to double check this because it's been it's been a while. Uh, where's my feet? Mobile? Where are you? Well, it doesn't matter because they've used their reaction, yeah. so they won't they use the reaction. Oh yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. So I'm gonna uh, carry on running. I think I use twenty feet of movement. But I think you're run. right though. It has to. They have to hit. But mobiles to work. Yeah, that part so I'm going to run back towards this way, towards um, Talari and the Erigneers and everything. And just be, you know, a little bit below her, but sure. near enough. How far below? No, oh, oh. are you joining me flying or? Oh, yeah, no, I'm flying. So it's about 20 feet. Are we 20 feet up? Sweet. I'll just note that down. You don't have to have hit them. It says you could, well, as long as you make a melee attack, whether you hit or not, you don't okay, provoke. Great, great. Yeah, you've got to make the attack. Your reaction resets. My reaction resets. That is true. Um, is that everything you used to do? Oh yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, Krusk, it is your go. What would you like to do? Uh, who is looking the lowest out of the Erinye and the two now fish knees? The, well, one's flying 45 feet up and the, the red dare and air now fish knee is the most hurt out of the three. The blue now fish knee, one marked by Nadia is fairly fresh in comparison. Okay, so I will go for the injured now fish knee then. So I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb. To start with, it is okay. It's a ranged spell attack. Aren't you too close? Won't you get disadvantage on this? Uh, it says range slash area ninety feet. That's yeah, right. If it's, if it's okay, yeah, cool. It hasn't got that slashy thing. Spell. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, that is um nineteen to hit. It's a hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh okay, so I'm gonna pick thunder damage for this. Um I'll just roll the damage here. It's taking too long to roll it otherwise. So So that is seventeen Ooh, that could have been a lot higher. That's <laughs> seventeen thunder damage. <laughs> that <laughs> is enough. Oh nice. Okay. Yay! Congratulations. Ooh, awesome. So another than now fleshly that's an alpha fleshly down. I'll use the chromatic orb like a Rasen gun from Naruto, I'll just have it in my hand. <laughs> 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 Nice. <laughs> and um, so I, I was going to use my um, like haste, like quicken spell on that, which is uh, two sorcery points. Let me minus that. Which is, ooh, I'm running very low on sorcery points. Okay. And then, so the Aaron How many of those do you have? Not as many left. Actually. Not as many as you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so the Aaron is up in the air, right? 45 feet up. Damn, I can't, I can't reach it with a cantrip. Well, I can, but I think it's immune to the cantrip that can reach it. Unfortunately, <laughs> if it's fire, then yes, it's poison, which I think we also said is uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, you don't have to use poison. Good, yeah, that's okay. So, um, I'll use lightning lure on the uh, on the now fashiony, and actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like run around here and I'm gonna lightning lure to try and pull it like into this pack of berserkers here, okay. Uh, so can just, it just I roll? Just, I just thought, yeah. how, how, what's the, what's the pull range of, of it? Of your uh, lightning lure. I can pull it 10 feet, basically. Oh, that's pretty much they in them then. Feet away, you can pull them I, was, I was thinking if you could pull them past them, they'd all get the opportunity attack, but. That would be no, good. But you can't because it doesn't work that way. Can't on it doesn't work that pull way. Pull oh, can't you? If you're, if, yeah, if you're moved, if you're moved away from somewhere, 
you don't put opportunity attacks. Oh, okay. Fair the enough. same reason why the self-sacrifice doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Right. Because you'll be moved away as well, out of your own steam. Fair enough. Yeah. Can it roll a strength saving throw? It can. Uh, what's, what's it got to beat? 15. It beats it just with a 16. Okay. Um, I think... I'm just going to double check this, but I think we said that it doesn't do the damage anyway. Uh, so not, for a, not for a cantrip. There's no way a cantrip's going to do damage when they pass. Okay. Uh, not oh, succeed okay. or be pulled up to 10 feet in a straight line towards you and then take 1d8, say it's still on the end then. If if it is within 5 feet of you. I don't know. That's fine. So then what I'll do is I'm going to use my super duper haste ring to run up to it and I'm just going to swing. It has, it has this one hit me? I can't remember what's hit me and what's it's not. It's fresh, isn't Good it? Name. So not likely. Oh no, so I can't. <laughs> can't swing your sword at it. It hasn't hurt you. Can I have to give it a punch? You can punch, punch it. it. A punch. Right, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just smack it. Unarmed <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, strike. I actually have plus nine on my unarmed strike for some reason. So. <laughs> But it's a, it's a melee attack, so it's the same as your sword, yeah. really, yeah, in theory. Attack, right? No. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. Huh. Yeah, not that okay. much, though. Another 19 no, no. has a hit, isn't it, from before? Yes. And then it's one plus strength, right? So yep, so... Yes. Six bludgeoning. Sweet. And, so yeah, that's all I can do. Like a gauntleted hand, it's like, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> hit me! <laughs> <laughs> You I dare you three me. damage with a punch, man. I don't think it's really bothered. It's not bothered. <laughs> Might not have even registered. Probably not. <laughs> it's a scratch. It's a, it's a scratch, effectively, for it. Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, it is now the pink Aranias go, and they are certainly going to move closer um, to everybody. But So, they're also going to... They're going to go probably that far in, and then another 30 feet up. So they are now um, 35 feet of up total. Okay, so they're going to also get out their longbow, and they are... They are they're also they're going to try to larry at least once on this. Shield is still in effect. Shield is still in effect. No, it is a 26. God damn it. Which still hits you. The longbow is 1d8 plus 3. So it's 6 plus 3, which is 9 plus 3d8 poison damage. That's the kicker. Mm. <laughs> 8 plus 6. It's going to be a really difficult con check. Just so it's 20. Happens. So it's 27 total damage because you don't have any. Um, Resistances to poison at all, do you? No, no. But to you also, so that's 27 damage. Um, so roll your um, concentration save. 13, you got to be. 13. That's all right. Oh, 11 plus 2. Oh, okay, I've got 13. Beat oh, it, beat oh, it. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, second, you also... I, got, I had advantage the second one to roll tw uh, not 20, but that's completely okay. pointless. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, can you also please roll a constitution saving throw or be poisoned? So glad I had voyage on that. Oh dear. That's a seven. <laughs> Rolled a nat one. one. The first one was a nat one. <laughs> so you are... <laughs> you are poisoned. Poisoned. The concentration check considered an ability check? No, I don't think so. God, I hope not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, it gets affected by the poison, does it? Yeah. So poison creature has disadvantage in attack rolls and ability checks, but this the the damage helps first, and then the poison effect comes after. So it wouldn't matter well, I mean, for this if, one if, if he has to do another concentration. Yeah. Won't, I won't get advantage on it <coughs> because of that. No. Flat roll. Concentration is not an ability check, though. It is. is it? Anything or... that's used is one of your ability scores, basically. Uh, okay. So, like, all your skills, all your saves, yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, that was so successful, they're going to try and hit you again. Uh, but that is not a good roll. And... Good time. So they missed the last two 
uh, arrows on you, Talara, which is fortunate. Yeah. Um, I'm going to intercept for you if they'd hit you again. Uh, you might need to, because it is uh, now Feshni's go. Whoa. I um, think that's going to go after me anyway, because I did just get right up in his face. It's tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. It's got one of three decent options for it to chew on. Um, I'm going to... It can't decide which one morsel is, mm. is tastiest, so it's going to try and bite Krusk. <laughs> The guy in full armor over the two people. Like, oh, I, I, roll, I rolled a one on the d6. <laughs> this is so... a really fucking stupid demon. I, I rolled a one on the d6 and it couldn't decide. So, <laughs> uh, so it's going to try and what? bite Krusk. Bring it on. That is a nat 20, which oh, is no. fortunate. You yeah, have had a run time. <laughs> oh, that's good. good. Good investment. Yeah, how does that, how's that go, so how's that going to work? On, so I guess that that whole extra damage just won't happen then. Yeah, so just normal damage. Yeah. Right. It's not. It's not like it. It's not a Man, counted just, as a crit. If that yeah. investment ever, that's it. The that investment was completely worth it. Dude, I'm just, the most. It happened nat, last time as well. I'm the I most think. nat twenty person in this party. I think, as in <laughs> for things hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's all the odds of trying to hit you. Um, that's true. Yeah, it's usually there's so many rolls being made against me. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that is, for the bite, it's still a hefty amount of damage. So it is 5d10 plus 5 piercing. Oof, that's so let's, let's, let's get some of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rolls. Gives me damage. So it is 26. So 30, you take 31 damage. Okay. Uh... From the bite. Yep, um, so it's going to attack you two more times with its claws. That's a 18 plus 10. That's a 28. Yep. That's to a hit. hit. Oh, wait. And it's uh, sorry. I cast shield. Oh, wait. Can I cast shield? I cast shield. <laughs> Take shift to 27. I think I'm 29 because I've got the haste ring on. Uh, it's active, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You get plus yeah, two. Yeah. Got plus two. Because the haste ring, you got your shield, got yep. your arm class. Well, yeah, okay, so you I'm are 29. Here. 29. <laughs> That's fine. Stop the so. Hit me. <laughs> uh, did I have not to say hit... that. Last time I said that, I got like absolutely <laughs> shredded by that irony as I was fighting. True. They, they just have but... to attack you. I probably asked this before, but they only have to attack you for the sword to work. Or do they have to Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Then after hit, um, they just have to make an aggressive cool, cool, action. Cool. Cool. So, but the second attack still hits you because I rolled a 19. So, 90 plus 20, 29 to hit me, so it hits you 29. Yep. That's okay. um, so, that's with its claws. So, that's 3d6 plus 5 slashing. Um, so, that's 20 slashing. I'm still standing, but uh, that was a big chunk. Ooh. You're still standing? 27 health. I was full health thanks to Sunny Seals, actually. I am no longer yep. full health. Uh, okay, so that is all the Nalfeshni oh, can for do. For once, he's doing well on HP. The rest of us struggling a little, but Krask is doing okay. <laughs> That's because this time, I mean, I spent half of it right flying around in Bahamut, so I wasn't in the thick of it. Like, oh, yeah. 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 For once, Krask hasn't jumped with both feet right into the middle of the most dangerous area. <laughs> the Nalfeshni will, however, teleport. Oh, oh miserable guilt. I forgot they could do that. It's going to teleport over to here, still on the ground. Oh, away from Talari, though. So that's, mm. that's good, at least. That can't be a good thing, though. <laughs> yeah. Another truck. Yeah. It's going to teleport over there. And. Yeah, that's all it wishes to do. Thorin, it is your go. What would you like to do? <clears throat> how, how far off is the. So you got one now, fetch So one Aranier forty-five feet up in the air, and one yeah. Aranier, Aranier thirty feet up in the air, and one now, Festi on the ground, but over there. So the red one's forty-five feet up in the air, and the pink one's thirty feet up in the air. These two are both attacking Tyrion, aren't they? I don't think I can you reach. You won't be able to reach either of them. Yeah. The the pink one attacked Talari, and the red one attacked Tyrigatha. You can get to the now, Feshni, though. Yeah, I, I, I want to get You two are the, the only Aranier. two who can get anywhere near the Aranias? 
but if they're so high yeah. up, his movement won't take him close enough. He he won't get. Yeah, them. I can't I can't waste a turn trying to go up. Oh, can't you kill the now Feshni? Yeah, I'll yeah, but that Erin is going to get to attack. The now, the now Feshni is just. The now Feshni is honestly a bigger problem. Such a heavy hitter. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you've, and got, uh, you've got Kruska can throw spells as well as the Turi yeah. up there as well. So Yeah, yeah I can hit you the Aranya if, if I'm only focusing on that, but the Nalfeshni okay. is a big problem. Alright, I'll focus on that Nalfeshni. So me and the bar Barbarians. Berserker, sorry. Oh. oh wait, I can't even reach him, can I? 35? Yeah, you can. To his feet, to his feet, to his feet. Yeah, yeah, you, you just go to He's large. So he's a large creature, so he takes up a I've big I've got square. 35, okay. You can just to get that. I'll, um, go, 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 go to his hoop. Man, whenever yeah. you stub oh, your toe, it really hurts, yeah? So, <laughs> this works. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> yeah, has he got a hoof then? Yeah, yeah he's got he's a, a hoof. Have the hoof. God. It's, it's like a pig, so it's like a pig yeah, person. Like half pig, half man. Yeah. Um, half, That's a pig. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, um, so okay. you have advantage on your attacks because berserkers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. First attack. Sword in and all his boys. Alright, that's uh, 29 to hit. To hit? 36 damage to hit. Nice. 36 damage, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Okay, sweet. That's um, like 35 to hit or something. To hit? Something nice. Alright. And that's 35 damage. Cool. How's he doing after that? Not bloodied. Okay, I was so about to say, he's a, he's a pretty tough, a pretty tough customer. This one. It was probably full oh, health when we started this this session. Yeah, yeah so. it was, mm -hmm. and it didn't even blink when I laid into it. So. I like to be my storm aura, so if you, if you can do a deck saving throw, got to be sixteen. Me. Uh, for decks for an officially, it's. Fails. All right. He takes uh, ten lightning damage. Well, um, nice. nice. That was a commoner out, right? <laughs> it is now bloodied. Sweet. Okay. And now the uh, berserkers are going to move now in. The, that's now the lads. Cool. They all have advantage. All right. Oh, that wasn't a great roll. No, I was saying like fourteen to hit. That's a miss. And then that is twenty-four to hit. It's a hit. Uh, does a 19 hit? It does. Nice. And then the final one. Oh, sweet. That's uh 22 to hit. Oh, you got three three berserker hits. Yeah. So that's 34 slashing damage. Good to know. Okay. Is that everything you and your you and the lads wish wish to do? Yep. That's all we can do for now. Yep. Cool. Larry, it is your go. What would you like to do? The shield ends. Your reaction restore. Yeah. You're still poisoned. Yeah. This is the problem. Um, that pit fiend can't come back. No. So what I'm thinking to do is going to be very, very risky to do. But I think it's going to be the worst, though, because as you said, if pit fiend comes back. So she's going to cast lesser restoration on herself. Um, so uh, cure a, th a condition. Um, De uh, blind to death, paralyzed or poisoned. So she's going to okay. do that to remove the poison element to her. She will then. Let's see how much movement we got. Any? She's going to hide behind these rocks. Going to crowd, go hide behind these rocks and these barrels. Crouch down, try to break line of sight as best she can. You do know you have two Aranies flying above you. Break the line of sight on that. Is it a tall rock? Depends how big that rock is. Funny, I would stay next to uh, Louise to be honest, because she's really tanky. Mm. Get, yeah, yeah. Get behind Nadia. It yeah. is Nadia's going next, so you can coordinate together. I think you guys should stay close. I'll, I'll come to wherever you go as well, so we can both. Well, I'm, and do you know, requesting Nadia to be taking the bullet here, but you know, get behind Nadia. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's the tankiest, isn't she? With her rage up. I've got the most yeah. HP. There we go. There yeah. We go. Your your rage would um reduce the 
non-poison damage. It's the poison damage that shafts me every single time. Yeah, I've been taking, I've been taking for using my immunity up here. <laughs> <Fine. Wait. laughs> so, wait, are these? Um, so, yeah. I do, I, mean... I do have range capability. I do have a longbow. I, I was gonna go and charge off and lay into this uh, now fashion but if I've got to go and stay on bodyguard the healer, then. Yeah, because oh, she's, she's got to. Well, she has to, well, she has to hide behind somebody, so she's either going to hide behind Krusk or Nadia. I mean, that's fine. I mean, Talari could go up to an Alfesti and Nadia follow, because all you need to do is be within five feet to do the self sacrifice. Yeah. Nothing stops a bastard thing from teleporting behind you. Because mm -hmm. well. Nadia's right after me, isn't she? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, this is now my turn because you finished Te your turn. Yeah, so technically, yeah, so what, your movement, yeah, so te yeah, so technically, what I'll do then is I'll I'll um hide behind Nadia, but I'll move wherever Nadia moves because sure. I'll use the rest of my movement to do that since it's all the same. That's fair. No, unless somebody like unless Talari like stops her, uh, then she's absolutely gonna go uh be like, come back, you bastard. And, like, go after this now, Feshni. Okay. Have I got room with all the berserkers in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's room. There right. Go. She'll, time for boom, boom. So she'll come here, then. Sort of hiding behind both both of them, like, both Thoradin yeah, and, and Nadia. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Sort of, that's, yeah. That's, there we go. Like a kid hiding behind their parents, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's do legit. I get advantage on my attacks then because all you of do. these others? Okay, so that was 24, which is a hit. That is. Uh, oh, heck yes, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, slashing damage, 10, radiant damage. Okay. 18, that won't hit, will it? It does hit. Oh, it does hit. Amazing. I like it when you say things like that. Uh, <laughs> 11 slashing damage and uh, 9 radiant damage. Nice. And come on. Uh, 21 to hit. Is a hit? 18 slashing damage and 9 radiant damage. Nice. Is... Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh. Uh, no, yeah. Nine, ten, eleven more slashing damage from Hunter's Mark. There you okay. go. Sorry, I I remember Almost. all my damage. <laughs> did you add your rage damage? Did you add your rage the first damage? Time that, um, yes, I did remember Excellent. my rage damage. Excellent. Uh, that's the first, okay. possibly the first time in any given round of combat I've remembered every <laughs> point of damage I can actually do to the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Without prompting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm, I'm now remembering my rage damage relatively consistently. So it fails its wisdom check. Ah, yes, fuck you! Right, it's destroyed. Uh -huh. nice. nice work. Amazing. That's pretty much an icy response, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. A radiant from the berserkers. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Ooh. Okay. Hey. <laughs> a, ra a radiant <laughs> glow <laughs> beams out of the Nefeshni as it just disintegrates into dust as it is destroyed. Nice. After that, cool. you bastard. So it is now. Is that everything you wish to do? Um, I think I've used up pretty much. Oh no, I can transfer my hunter's mark along. Mm -hmm. Did I use my? No, I used my bonus action. I can't transfer my hunter's mark along. Okay. I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably worn out by now. Okay. Um. So yeah, so it is. Um. The uh, Aaron years go, and they are they are pissed. You can't hear what they're saying. Um, but they certainly look pissed. Um, no, they're no, talking they telepathically. Do, they do tele tele oh. telepathy. But they, they, from their face reactions, you can tell that they're pissed. Um, 
So universal gesture. Get a load of this bitch. I like to think <laughs> of after Nadia's done that, Tori's just fingering them both in the air, going, "That's right, fuckers. We've got this." <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding <laughs> profusely <laughs> from the air. <laughs> She's fine. I was about to say, none of this party have got the sense they were born with not to go around no. taunting the demon. Oh, this is it, yeah. No, but Turigatha is isolated from the pack. I was going to say, is... you're a prime fucking target. Better than hitting, yeah. better than hitting like Talari. Yeah, fine. fine, take me. Come on. <laughs> okay, so that is going to hit you with a longbow. Should I see 18? So that's it. that is an 18 to hit, so your first basically absorbs it anyway. Yeah, um, the but the second attack is a 16 plus 7, which is enough yeah, to, that hits, yeah. to do you damage. So that is a D D8 plus 3, so that is 9 damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Oh, no. So, oh, no. is... Turi, I like the idea of um, as she gets, she's like deflects one, starts trying to like go up in the air, and then as she gets shot one last time, she just loses consciousness and basically hangs with her feet like up top and her floating back. And the feet, the the wings are just trying to flap really, really hard. They settle you gently on the ground. <laughs> Head first, you just end up in a like. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay, so you are unconscious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so you're mm -hmm. prone, attack rolls against you have advantage, and any attacker that hits you is a critical hit. Mm -hmm. If the attacker is within five feet of you. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm glad I'm not forward in with the gambler's blade, to be honest, because, you know, uh, it's bad. Um, let's see, so they've got one more attack they can make, and they're also going to attack another isolated person, which is Krusk. So on. they're gonna they're gonna roll against Krusk. So that is a miss against Krusk. No. Uh, yeah, you're still shielded. I didn't run that down, so you're still shielded from last time, um, which is fine. Uh, so Turigatha, it is now your go. Can you please send me a DM of your death save throw, please? I uh, yeah, I just rolled it. I'm going to give nothing away as best as I can. I mean, Sunny, Sunny's alive, so we're still okay even if you die. Well, yes and no. But yeah. But what, there's what, there's what's a lot the on this. What's the no? If they take oh. a body away. Oh. Or they, mutil like... or they mutilate yeah, it, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I can't... If she is beheaded, I can't do shit. Can we not... Burns it. So like it? <laughs> Back on it. It doesn't work like that. No. <laughs> okay, okay. No. Oh shit, okay, so there is danger. Yeah, 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 there is danger. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Are you is he floating that or is he back on the ground? He, he, he is, is on the ground. I guess in my turn it all No no yeah. no wait wait that the boots. Well didn't we say, didn't we say that your boots we we because we saw because your boots don't are independent Float down. to your consciousness. As long as they've yeah. still got flying, they'll stay flying. But what's your... it's, this it, isn't it's, the boots if you're no, unconscious. Just... The same, Do they? The same as if the duration expires, so you descend at a rate of thirty feet. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it doesn't say anything about being unconscious though. But it doesn't say anything about being unconscious. So technically, they, he's floating um, in the personally, air. Personally, I'd I'd like it to be this way, Matt. So it's up to you. But personally, what? I like the idea of them just hanging in the air, and I'm basically just <laughs> dangling. So you're, exactly. yeah, you're effectively hanging yourself upside down. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you're like you're on like the um, was it the the high bars, whatever it is. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Your exactly. arms float. Why did you do um, that though? Because we now can't bloody well get to you. You are twenty feet in the air. I'm twenty feet. Oh, in the I can air. get to her. I can get it's to gonna her. be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Thor didn't get to me. It's fine. Uh, so yeah. So, uh, Krusk, it is now your go. Okay, your shield so. has ended. Okay, that's fine. So first of all, I'm going to use my dash action to drink a superior potion of healing. Um, okay, did you feel the haste string? I did indeed. And I already rolled it. I get 33 hit points back. So nice. Plus Good to know. Almost full health again. And how how tall are these rocks? Um, Probably five feet, five feet yeah. Okay. I could lightning lure you down to it. 
a bit lower, but oh. um, I think it will hurt you. Yes, Can it I will. Eat, so it doesn't if hurt you him? think that is if the I... best action, it will hurt. What's your what's your health? Hey, Phil, Can you go? I can't. I'm not telling you anything. No, no, it's in like so, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. There aren't death saving. She's on death saving. Her HP pool is now completely immaterial. So if I yeah. hit him, he'll be a fail. He will, he will get a fail. He'll get a fail. You will take uh, one of the death saving throws off. Yes. Because they're unconscious, they automatically fail the death save. Yeah, yeah they, they, they like automatically fail, fail the deck save. So they, you would be able to pull them closer to you, but that would count yeah. as a failure. Yeah, you get okay. them down, but it's just one failure. Uh, so Crusk will like think about doing it, and then he'll decide against it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually can fly, but I haven't got the spell slot anymore for it. So. So you can't actually fly. So you can't. Well, actually. I can fly, just not right now. <laughs> <laughs> give me a minute. So you can't give me, give fly. Give me a speed. Give me a nap. I'll fly. <laughs> give me till tomorrow, and I'll be. I'll fly up for you. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, don't think, I think we've got till tomorrow. <laughs> In that case, I think. How do these two? I keep forgetting how these two look. Are they are either them bloodied? The Erinier is. The red Erinier is bloodied. Right. Why is the red one? The pink Erinier oh, is. The red one's forty-five feet in the air. So. Uh -huh. so, yeah. so it's um. So it's four because you are on a five-foot-high cliff. So yep. relative to you, it's forty feet. If you stand on there, it's thirty-five feet. Okay. Ooh, I'm really running on fumes here. I haven't got the stuff I could use to knock her out of the sky. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blast the red one, I think. Um, and in an attempt to save bell slots, sorry, sorcery points, I'm gonna cast Scorching Ray in a second level, but I'll spend a sorcery point to transmute it all to thunder. Um. Okay, so I have to do a few different rolls for this. So it's um three rays. Mm -hmm. Yep. And each one is plus eight. Okay, so I'll just read these out. So dirty twenty. Hit. Ew. Thirteen. <laughs> the miss. Okay. And well, that's like twenty nine or something, twenty five. The hit. Okay, cool. So two the of them. Two hit. hits. So that's four d six thunder damage. Um, which is uh 20 damage 20 thunder damage okay um hmm yeah my cantrips can't reach <laughs> the one that can does poison damage <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah i guess i can't i can't really do anything else um i think i'll position myself like under Turi, so like if she like gonna falls, catch me. Yeah, yeah, I'll try and I'll <laughs> try and catch her. <laughs> She's still in large. <laughs> you, yeah, you realize yeah, so... it, hey. that lasts another hour or so. I Guys, think, Krask, has got, Krask has got twenty strength. Okay, don't don't sleep on his strength. No, I'm, I'm gonna have forward in God's if, strength. <laughs> if you because of Turiga that is large and you're five feet up and she's twenty feet up. If you she jumped, had to take me down, if you her. jumped, you could grab her hands, but that's an action to do it. To try and pull it down. Okay, I didn't realize. Um, okay, oh, I'll, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, that. I'll, I'll try and pull her down. Uh, next, I mean, to be fair, I needed to be, I need to heal myself anyway. But um, yeah, next turn, I'll try and pull her down. <laughs> Someone else will have probably sorted it out by then. Well, you I think so. Foridan, uh, unless it's not an action for you, you should focus on killing them because you're like our big hitter. And then I'll, I'll try and like jump say, in, Yeah, I'm it. only a big hitter because of the axe. They're currently fucking floating. All I've got is the log. No, no, Foridan. Foridan oh, Foridan. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it's the pink Erinier's go. And boy, oh boy, what are they going to do? Um, they bad. are going to go after Delari. Ooh. And so. Okay. At least you're. She's surrounded by people, so. Well, that depends <laughs> if any of them jump, jump in, in the way or not, or whether she takes the damage. Surely they jump in the way. <laughs> Froden's like, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> There's no guarantees of anything, is there? Um, okay, so the first longbow goes and is a 24 to hit. I will shield. Shield? Yeah. Okay, it's so last... use your action. Yeah, it's my last shield. Can I have bonus shield. actions for berserkers? Or like, ready? No, never mind. Well, the... they, can, they can do the sacrificing. They can. Thing, yeah, could they like just jump in the way when the arrows come? If yeah, they're within yeah, five feet, they could. Ooh, dude, just get all the berserkers to surround Talari. That's like four 
Yeah, um, but... Pack taken ward well, off. Well, that one is. Maybe one uh, the red, range. the red, the red yellow yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. red yellow. Yeah. So you okay. gotta say it just before we get damage info. Yeah. So, now so I'll, I'll, I'll say hit, and then you can say you want to use the reaction to do it instead while I yeah. roll damage. Uh, okay. So that's the I first mean, one. I was totally gonna do it, but she's shielded herself now. So. Yep. Second one is a twenty-six to hit. So that is gonna hit me. Okay. So he's, he's, going he's, he's going in the way. He's jumping in the way. So the red yellow. Red yellow. Red yellow is jumping in the way. Okay. So they take. Um, one d8 plus three damage plus three d8 Instead of the poison. Here is Valhalla. I like to think he didn't want to do it, but Origin just made him do it, and he's just like, why? <laughs> Origin just on. like nods, nods his head like that, that way. There's like a tear in his eye. He's like, I don't want God. to die. <laughs> <laughs> I only die for my master. <laughs> not how I wanted to die this game. <laughs> okay, so that is 26 damage against that guy. Uh, so attack Rosa, move him basically in front of the purposes of this, and in front of um Talari attack rolls against um him advantage but they're only still gonna go after Talari. That is a I was gonna I was gonna do it and be all dramatic about it, but well, you might you might get your chance. But, but that is a miss on this one, so you're fortunate. Um so yeah, so Thoradin, it is your go. What would you like okay. to do? Um so I think distance wise I can only get the pink one. If they I are 30 feet the up. Rock, what if I go on the rock? I don't know, but that's five feet to get up no, there. still your movement. Yeah, it's it's still yeah, your yeah. movement, yeah. You can, you so, can go for the pink one. Yeah, pink one's probably your only one you can go for. Yeah. Yeah. What it's is it? Yeah, 10 foot, 30 foot. Yeah. What's, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Pythagoras. That's enough, let's say. Yeah, it's enough. Thorin can have a bit of reach. It's fine. He's enraged. He's yeah. enraged and fueled by rage. It's, fine. it's a great sword. It's fine. Yeah, so I'll fly over. Pink one, right? Uh, are they both bloody? Is this one bloodied? No, the red, only yeah. the red is bloody, isn't it? Only the red is bloody. Okay. Yep. So that is 31 feet diagonal, so actually, yeah, it's enough. Nice. Thank God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. So, it's great weapon master. This this pink one has not been touched at all. Oh wow! Really? Okay. Uh, to get touched? Yeah, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to punch it. it, it uh, <laughs> uh, that's twenty six to hit. The hit. Thirty four damage. First hit. Thirty four. Yep. Uh, that's nineteen to hit. They parry your blow. Damn. So they use their reaction, but they okay. parry your blow. Um, that's my extra attack on. So I'll, I'll use my storm aura. Uh, yeah, dex okay. saving throw of sixteen. Uh, they fail. Nice. Ah, uh, they take six lightning damage. What's Sweet. the radius of your aura? Uh, I think it's oh, it's ten feet. Does it does it get the other one? I don't know how far. No, that one's also they're, they're it's fifteen foot feet. higher. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, so in relative. relative. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure what the thing was, but okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And then the Berserkers, they're just going to do a shield wall around Talari uh, okay. to make sure they're all within five feet so they can jump in front or uh, try you to can, yeah, block her. Do whatever needs to do. They need to yeah, do yeah, exactly. four reactions. Yeah. 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 So they jump in front of arrows, they jump in front of swords, anything that goes for Talari. Yeah. Jump in front of. Nice. Wow. Okay. Talari, it is your go. You have your shield walled around you. Yes. Do you want to leave it to get closer to uh, Tirigatha <laughs> to help her back up? Uh, if by me, it'll be fine. No, no, no. no. I think Talari should stay where she is. Because <laughs> uh, if the Peep Fiend comes back, we, we basically won this fight. If the Peep Fiend comes, comes back, back, we are like, I am 100% dead. Yeah, that's why Talari, no I think you, yeah. should just, uh, you should just chill so, where you are. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my channel divinity for preserve life, so I get to heal 55. What's your max, Turi? Max is 86. I 
thing. Okay, so yeah, if I if I heal, everyone else is pretty much over max, right? I'm over half. Yeah. Nadia's over half. I think I'm over half. Uh, Blin's we... at half. You, Talari's at lower, less than half. Nadia's above half. Crocs above, above half. Twenty-four divided by two. Forty-seven. So I can <laughs> I can heal myself five, at least. Um, so that's fifty-one. Uh, fifty-fifty. I should be able to. Oh, it's that. Well, I don't know. It's thirty feet. Point. No, oh, don't leave the shield wall. Yeah, <laughs> stay in the shield wall. They're also twenty feet up as well. Oh, shit. I'm twenty feet. I'm gonna oh. try and pull her down on my next turn. Okay, no, so... I, won't. I can't do that then. Uh... No, guys, don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Uh... <laughs> be really I mean, fine. on my next turn, I can go pull her down. What I'll do? Yeah. If Cross yeah. can do it, so can I. That's right. She can. Yeah, yeah. She can. Well, I can. I can. I can, re I can. I can reach you though. So I can use um, healing word. It's a bonus action, and I'll do that on. That's sixty foot, so I can easily reach Turi with that. Uh, and that's two D four plus eight. Anything what? will do. Yeah. That's three, four, seven, plus eight, which is fifteen. So you get fifteen. Nice. I so get you get it is I get back up, and I get a cheeky. <laughs> I get a cheeky four from that as well. Which is always nice. Uh, so I'm on 46. Yep. Um, action wise, I will. No point doing that anymore. Huddle on the ground? Uh, yeah, no, I think I will just do a, a cantrip. Um, I'll do Sacred Flame, which is radiant damage. Ooh. On. Uh, let's do the red. Uh, what's my distance on that? Sixty foot, so I can reach any of them. Um, I'll, e. I'll effectively. Yeah, I'll do it on the on the red one. Let's get rid of get rid of that. So can they do a sacred flame? Seven uh, dex saving throw. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I just double check it. Um, and what's this? What's the seventeen? Beat? Seventeen. And dex. Mm -hmm. That's an eighteen. So they pass. Yep, so there's no damage from that. Uh, and that's fine then, then Talari will huddle behind the shield wall. Well, um, okay. So, Nadia, it is your go. What would you like to do? Breathing, by the way, so don't worry about me. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Still upside Terry's down. Been, Terry's been rescued, even if she is still upside down. <laughs> upside down, my eyes are awake, I'm like, oh. You can see her breathing. Oh, shit. <laughs> In that case, uh, I need to double check the range on my longbow. Oh yeah, I've got I've got plenty of freaking range on this longbow. Pretty much made for range. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much just yeah, it's the same as the RNA, so it's 150 feet or 600 feet with disadvantage. So yeah, it's plenty. Yeah. Uh, which one looks most fucked up? Who shall I shoot? Uh, red, uh, red one. Yep. I'll over her first then. Not nearly so impressive when I do it with the bow. Only a 12. That won't hit. I take it that actually doesn't hit. Nope. Come on, roll no. better. Oh, that's much better. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. To hit? That is 13 piercing damage. Cool. So 13. Aft because it's not magic. Down. It's it not magic. No, it's magic. It's magic. It's a plus one longbow. I got yes. this specifically for shooting freaking flying yes. demons with. Did you add your plus it's... one? To this uh, as well. I think so. It does that. Do it automatically. It, it does. The... Yeah. It works. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In that case, I'm going off what um, the D Beyond is telling me. Did your rage uh, damage to this as well? Or is this only for melee? I added my rage damage to it because I think I Sorry. still get rage damage. Uh, don't think so. Rage, you only get rage for melee, melee. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's only melee. Plus yeah. melee damage with strength weapons. Oh, uh, okay. In that case, uh, I. That's... that's only ten, not thirteen. Okay. Good to know. Uh, okay, that's on your second. Oh, yes. Fucking critical hit. Nice. Uh, so. Still that... get brutal critical. I still get brutal critical. 
Uh, meaning I get to double my crit? Freaking. So you add your extra dice. To the max? Don't. Right? So you get an extra dice. Yeah. yeah. You roll one additional weapon damage die when determining the extra when determining the extra damage for the critical hit. Oh, with a melee attack. No. With a melee oh, attack. Oh, it's only with a melee attack. Rubbish. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Stupid flying enemies. Why they gotta do this to me? Yeah. Uh so that's eight. Fourteen. My old nemesis. <laughs> that is spot on. Ha! How do you want to do this? Nice. Through the throat, I think. Nice. That's Ooh. always a nice kill shot. Yeah. Ooh. That is that is a beastly shot. That is. And let's take that away. So, yeah, so with a well placed. Uh, arrow to the throat. The RNA just straight in the throat and it just falls to the ground with a thud. As it lands on the rock it was flying over. Um, very well Does done. Does it not disappear? It's actually here physically. Yeah. They, 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 all, all of these things have been, apart from the ones you destroyed. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot I destroyed that one. Yeah. Um, so, so all that's left so far is the pink area, but it is Tirigatha's go. Well, is that everything you wish to do, Nadia? Uh, yes, that's pretty much used up all my stuff, so uh, absolutely that is what I wish to do. So, Tirigatha, it is your go. What would you like to do? I wake up, bring myself up, look around, like... Oh, you only see okay. one enemy left. Great, and I run over. Uh, you know, kung fu run over, and let's let's just let's just go straight into a roundhouse. We don't need any. We don't need any talk here. <laughs> I keep pressing the damn D and D Beyond button when I've got perfectly good physical dice in front of me that don't lag. Right, <laughs> that is a dirty twenty. The hit. Your dice not lagging is usually a plus. Yeah, you know, we, we like that. We like dice not lagging. That's six. I'm enlarged, so D4 on top of that. Uh, so that's nine plus four, which is 13 yeah. on the first hit. Second hit is a 22. The hit. All my attacks are magical, by the way. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. And I just swing round and crack her in the, with the back of my heel. That fell off the table. They would have tried to parry a couple of these, but they already used parry last time. <laughs> so that is sadly only eight for the for the back heel. Obviously not quite Sorry? not quite back up. Still, still good damage. And then I remember I don't have any key points, and uh, Thoradin's got. It covered for the opportunity attack, so I'm going to back it up a bit. Cool. Try not to die. Important distinction. Is there everything you wish to do? Yes. Sweet. Krusk, it is your go. What would you like to do? There is one air and yay left on the battlefield. It's currently 30 feet up in the air. I almost didn't see uh, Krusk's token because it's so well blended into that boulder. <laughs> <laughs> All camo, man. All camo. Um, how is how is the Arania looking like? Is it still looking like it wants to fight us? It's still looking pissed. I think you can imagine it's almost got orders that it can't to refuse. Yeah, it has to keep fighting. Um, are they going back to hell when we kill them or are they just dying? So the ones that are destroyed, 100% aren't coming back ever. Yep. But the ones that are killed, their souls basically get reset. So but they, they go. Their to bodies the, stay like, there. The bodies, the thirty stay in, on the ground, but they basically get reset in the hell landscape. Effectively. <laughs> I'm just gonna call up to it and say, "When you go back to hell, tell them that you were beaten by the JC." That's Justice Collective. I'm Krusk, and these are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, just shut up. Wow. <laughs> spread the word! <laughs> oh wow. Nobody cares. Spread the word. <laughs> this is a good uh, marketing opportunity, guys. <laughs> what, and, um, yeah, you know, just to strike a bit of fear into their hearts, you know, in hell. Mm. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I'll cast a chromatic orb. That's it. The demons are sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going on about the JC. These are the wrong ones to be uh, intimidated, to be fair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> roll, roll your attack. Okay. That's Have you got your sorcery thing. stuff still to. I. Well, you don't do need to for chromatic have... orb. Oh, no. Yeah, course. I don't need to for chromatic orb. But I will use my last two points to make it fast. Why not? Um. Oh, wait, actually. Every reason why you're doing that, because my cantrips. How high above the ground is it, sorry, this one? 30 feet. Okay, there is no point speeding well, up. 25 so feet. Anything else, so I'll put those Relative back. To you. Okay, 18 to hit. That hits. Nice. Uh, so this is 4d8 thunder damage, which is not bad, actually. 26 thunder damage. Nice. I'll just call up to it. Uh, uh, oh, I haven't got a thunder step anymore. I'll just call up to it and I'll say the fight's over for you. Why don't, why don't you come down here and we'll send you off to hell quickly. I'm down here and I'll kill you quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you hear in your mind, Krusk? It's not over until at least one of you is dead. Or at least, oh my god, at least one of you is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I shake my head. I'm, I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> this, is, uh, this fight is over. Is that everything you wish to do? Crusty. Well, I wish to do the more, but I can't do anything else, so yeah, that's me. So, the answer to that is yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> excuse, excuse my sass, I'm into the wrong mindset now. Um, but it, it's, now <laughs> the, it's now the Aeronews go, and they will wail on Thoradin. Come on, give it to me. So, I give forgot Thoradin. Bobbing up there as well. <laughs> I'm like right in her face. They, yeah. they will use their, their long sword on Thoradin, and that is a 21 to hit. Yep. Yep. So that is 28 plus 4, so that's 6 half, so that's 3 slashing, and then poison, which is also halved. <laughs> yeah, I'm resistant Thorin. to poison. Okay, so I'll just I'll say it all and then I'll half it in a second. There's a lot about mountain dwarfs' living conditions if they're resistant to poison. Spiders, I man. I assumed it was like alcohol poisoning. All, all <laughs> like the caves and mining and stuff, yeah, they probably deal with a lot. Oh, oh that, that too. So that was going to be 26 total, but it's half to 13. Nice, nice. I mean, this is Thorin. He probably got his resistance by drinking too much. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. That's a 26 I'm to just, hit. You know, you're just going to put that out there. Mm. Would not be surprised. Or just not, you know, just eating whatever you found, you know. What's a bit of mold? <laughs> mold can't defeat me. A couple of mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that'll be. Fun. That'll keep me going. Yeah. Seeing a few too things. Much oh, eating dodgy mushrooms. <laughs> Take the fungus off. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you're only hallucinating a little bit. <laughs> That's fifteen on the second. Fifteen total. Damage. On the second, second one, and on the third, hit net twenty. Oh dear. Cool. Hey. Right. I've, got, I've got to get in my hits as well, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you've got to enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to let you know, Froden, it, it will be kind of embarrassing if she kills one of us at this point. I have relentless rage. I've got another life. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. I was gonna say because you're on what twenty nine. Yeah. I don't know what the max mm. their max output is, but well, that's they hit fairly dead. heavily. They hit fairly heavy. Like, mm. their saving grace is they don't hit very reliably. Mm. That was literally the only reason that that Aaron ESI was dueling didn't, like, pay well, me several new ones. They do have a I'm big sure plus. Uh, uh, awesome. They do have a big plus to, to hit, but they've been using those. 63 half. Ooh. I think that's, oh. you down. that's you down, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's, of Friday, man. that's 31, bitch. <laughs> Dangling in the midair. Oh no! Wait, what's your relentless rage? So thing? relentless rage, you drop to zero HP and don't die while you're raging. You can save DC them, 10. Yeah. DC 10 con save and throw. So and my con is plus nine. 
Sorry. Oh wow. We should be fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah, now twenty. Hey. Oh good. Oh, good. So you've come back with two HP instead one, of one. The two. What's the one HP? You rebound uh, on. DC one. increases by five each time. I didn't say anything about health. Oh yeah, one, sorry. I dropped one, one HP. One. They're back to one. So. So you're not KO'd. So that is the Aranier's go, and it's not going anywhere. Um, well, it could try, I guess. No, there's no point, really. Um, Zip, so is your go, Thorin? What would you like to do? <laughs> Time to take some mother freaking revenge. <laughs> um, I was about to say, fuck him up. Fuck I, him I up. think I'm just going to... Well, it's the only person that's... I'm just going to go for it. Are you even a proper barbarian if you're reacting yeah. to that? Is not trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I thinking mean... healing, but nah, that's, that's not nah, a thought nah. in a way. Nah. I mean, you do that. you've got people for that. You've got people for the healing. You don't need to be worried. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Got the backup. Got the backup. Um, no advantage. I think I'm the only one up here. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Right. If Tyrion gets this ground, then uh, maybe. But yeah. uh, that is 29 to hit. The hit. Ooh. That's four. So that's 32 damage. The first hit. Okay. They are bloodied. Second hit, that's 32 to hit. The hit. And that is 35 damage. They are still bloodied. All right, Storm Aura. All right. Dex, DC 16. They pass. Okay, so they take half of this. So it's five, so they take two light damage. Okay. The whole two lining damage. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that... is... Uh, I you think happy to gonna... stay there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to stay there. Shield wall. Um, yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Because that is the only way we lose it. If she just. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Um, okay. Talari, it is your go. What would you like to do? You <laughs> did see Thorin basically like waver. Mm. When the air ending was like slicing into him, but he stayed standing and was able to obviously attack back. He's bleeding out a fountain of blood, but he's still standing. Mm. Not really yeah. sure how. Oh. Yeah, like because he's floating in the air, like thirty feet in the air, you can see like blood just like dripping down from his like boots. Yeah. Uh, Distance-wise, again, I think they're too far away. To it's put... thirty-one feet, basically. Yeah, I think. so I can't really do. Work. Uh, but so I could. What I'll do then is I'll do a mass healing word uh, in a. Don't do that. Let's do it only in a third. I don't think it's necessary to do it. It's going to burn that any higher than necessary. Uh, so that's a one d four plus nine, eleven. For all that's of us. Six. So six people. So uh, again, that's. I think you can still reach me. Yeah, so as you call out the word, up to six creatures of your choice that you can see within range. So every, well, basically six feet from me, sixty feet from me. Yep. Um, so everybody, so every that's, player. So yeah. So that's um, I said what nice. uh, eleven, eleven healing, and obviously one of the barbarians. Why not? Sure. Um, that's eleven from me, and I get another five. Top. That's my bonus. Um, and as an action, I will try to Sacred Flame it again. So that's another deck save. Um, of 17. Uh, they pass. Okay. okay, that's it. Protect Crouchy behind the field wall. <laughs> yeah, the run is up to 12. Sweet. Uh, Natty, it is your go. Chance to brush up on my archery, isn't it? Pretty much. Going after the other one. Does this count as flanking? Mm, mm. Because um, Thoradin's within five feet of. I think flanking's for melee more. Yeah. Yeah, I think flanking is. For melee. Like you get to decide if you want to give me advantage. I'm not going to say no. Maybe if you're like behind her. her, if you're behind her and she's attacking me, maybe. Where even is Thorin? I can't see him on the map. He's like on the wing, basically. Oh, 
Mm. Oh yeah, you're like yeah, in behind yeah. the area and he has his wing. He's very small. I see it now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> small but mighty. Uh, okay. He's very mighty. Yeah, yeah so when a creature but... and at least one ally are, and one ally are within five feet of the same enemy on opposite sides, that enemy is flanked. So because no. both of them are not within five feet, it doesn't count. Wait, that's good to know. Cool, so it's just normal. What do you have to go rounds. and look? What do you have to go and look that up for? It might give me advantage. <laughs> it's worth. Uh... It's worth checking. You can come up with a house rule. That's a sixteen. Mm. Does that hit? Mm. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Does that no. hit? Ah, okay. Oh, that's better. Uh, that is a twenty-three. That's a hit. I think that hit. That's eleven piercing damage. Pick it up. Uh, twenty-two. The hit. That's 10 piercing damage. You know? Three attacks? Yes, because I missed the first one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the irony is still going. Uh, is that everything you should do? Gosh darn it. Uh, yes. So you go, so it is I your go. I can do any other things. Okay. I'm peeved. I'm enlarged. I'm going in. Enlarged <laughs> and in charge. <laughs> so I'm going to fly... Um, Tira's going to fly up a little bit, and then as she takes an angle down, she kind of kicks off the air with her boots, and the wings just stop for a second, and she goes in for a flying kick. I like it very cinematic. Mm -hmm. That is a 26 to hit. That is a hit. And you would also get advantage, because sorry. Oh. Yeah, you let's get flanking. Let's, let's just see if I crit. I do not. Right. <clears throat> okay, so that is uh, 10, 14 on the first blow. What's that, sorry? And 14 damage on the 14. first blow. 14 okay. mag magical feats. Yep. Yeah. And then on the second, ooh, that is 18. Mm, that's a hit. So she like comes down into from a flying kick as she knocks down her face, I would imagine. Boots kick back in, she flings around and backhands her. For oh, that is terrible damage. Uh five, five, nine damage. Okay. This time she's staying. Okay. Because she can see the benefit. Sorry, Krusk, I'm hiding your image now. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so that's everything you should do? Yep. Cool. Krusk, it is your go. How bad's the Arinier looking now? Uh, looking low. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we'll go with a good old chromatic orb with uh, thunder damage. And that's my last second level slot. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is a hit. So like fourteen to hit. No, fourteen uh, does not hit. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh wait, I'm gonna use favored by the gods, which I've apparently not used yet. So I can roll two d four and add it onto the roll. I have a feeling she's near death, so I'm just gonna try and scoop the kill. <laughs> what did I say? I rolled thirteen. Fourteen, you said. Okay, so that's plus three is seven, and then plus three is a. Uh, 30, 20? That does hit. Yeah, give me the kill. <laughs> um, I love this it is... doesn't actually uh, make it. So it could be better. <laughs> 18, thunder damage. That is enough. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <Wouldn't like it. laughs> just, congratulations. I'll just aim the orb like, and just be like, remember, with the JC, and then shoot it. <laughs> You get like the essence of a fuck, and... <laughs> and as she's like exploding or fading away, whatever's happening to her, I'm just going to turn around, cross what my arms, make my cape below. Cool guys, don't look suspicious. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as... And Krask is definitely a cool guy. <laughs> okay. I like some shades for these moments, but yeah. <laughs> so, congratulations. Hey. With no other combatants available to attack you're able to tick through the effective rounds for the banishment to complete 
and yes. the pit fiend does not reappear. Uh, the pit fiend is banished permanently from the the realm for the, this round, for this time being, anyway. Unless they were to come back where the meat. So they have to. Um, they have to take the long way back. Destroy the circle. Destroy the circle. Destroy, destroy it, it yeah. now. Cast it into the fire. Yeah, yeah, so you have to disrupt the the ground and destroy the the link the the circle itself as well. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go all in on this. I'm gonna cast the spell magic in a sixth level slot to sort the magic side of it out. Mm -hmm. uh, authority, would you do the honors and kick up a fuss? I guess. On this thing, Thordun smash. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, that's not us. Yeah, Thordun will smash it up, and it will is get it the actually... berserkers. Is it actually stone, Matt? Yes. Okay. Okay, Tyrion's just stone. gonna, in her enlarged form, just dig up some stones and just pick them out and throw them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All you work together, you and the berserkers and Thordun, all can just like work together and crumble, smash, disrupt it to any means necessary on this. Um, can Talari, can you please roll a um spellcasting ability check, please? Can I um, spell magic before he does it? I'll cast bless on him. Be blessed, Talari, and go forth. So it's you can, uh, so it's you can roll three this, levels uh, higher than. Oh, is it still okay? So what is it? It's so if the spell is six level six, is it higher than a six level spell? Yes. Yes. I believe, I believe it is. Because it says that you, when you cast a spell using a spell slot fourth level or higher, well, and I'm doing... you're destroying a permanent circle, so it's a bit. It's more than just the teleportation second itself. So roll your Depends. check, please. They may, they may have used a higher spell slot to cast it. Add your D4. Remember. Try and make it as permanent as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're. Sure. Trying to dispel a permanent tie nice. to this realm. So that gave me an extra four for that. So 16, 20, 24. That is enough, along with both destroying the, the physical and the magical. You get a sense that this teleportation circle is no longer capable of being used. Nice. 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 Congratulations. Oh, just for good measure, I'm going to collapse. I'm just going to acid chromatic orb the like the site just, just for good measure. <laughs> yeah, while we leave, yeah, while we're still here, <laughs> I'll be like, can, can you guys just just go over a bit? Thanks. Boom. <laughs> Is it worth checking all these barrels? They bring like supplies through. What I'm going to do though first, I want to cast cure. I don't know what I'm going. I'm going to do my my last channel divinity. Now everyone's actually close. Uh, so I will give, I think it's only, yeah, it's only Turian and Thoradin. Um, okay. I'll give, I'll give, what's it, 50, so I'll give 30 to Thoradin and 25 to Turi. Just okay, to good. balance them out. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm over half now, I'm good. Um, Still we're bloodied, dripping. Yeah, what I'm, also, what I'm also going to do is uh, use healer's kit on all five of us. I'm actually very healthy. Oh, uh, well, maybe not to cross then. Uh, to, what's it, 1d6, that. I think? Yeah, 1d6 plus 4. I'm just going to roll once. Uh, uh, 7? Everyone gets 7. Oh, I won't. I won't count it. So you can save the use. I don't. I, don't I mean, I've it. got. I, I'm drowning in healing kits, man. Can, right. I, can oh, I take his seven? No, no, you can't even get it once. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll, I'll take the seven back. then. That's literally enough to get me to full health. Yeah. Just Trust in case, just like, in case something else comes up, you know. I like to think that you know the sword that glows with my emotions. I like to think it's like quite dimmed, and Crass is just going to be like, I've never been this <laughs> magically exhausted before. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could only get one more good spell out. Yeah. Yeah. What are you complaining about? Feeling. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> was it fun? fun? <laughs> I mean, we kicked ass, like serious ass. It was cool. I don't know if it was fun. And Talari getting rid of that pit fiend. 
fucking great job. Well done. I'm a little dizzy. There may be three of you. You s- oh, sit that a spell? down before you fall know. over. Then. I mean, there, I are, there are four. There are four berserkers. Maybe, maybe you're seeing huh? the double vision there. I I'm. Know. I'm very gently sitting down, but it's like a massive slam because she's still not used to her enlarged form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's for. Twice as, like twice as tall. As How long does that last for? The enlarged. An hour. An hour. An hour. Okay. Uh, yeah. like, I don't a few, know. few more hours. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, so it's like a, it's like a D4 hours, yeah. Yeah, wow. I, I rolled D4, and I think I got two hours. Oh, my God. Uh, and obviously, we've had, like, maybe ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, including the... Uh... Usually, I'd volunteer to carry you back, but no. Yeah, no, the four no. I'm sure we can yeah. make a makeshift chair for you, Turi. Yeah, like yeah, they can lift it. You back. Like, he's I mean, I'll be like watching an ant lift and leave. <laughs> Thorin will go up and just say, you know, Turi, you're looking thick. Oh my god. <laughs> do, do you want some help getting back? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we wish indeed that Thorin You know, maybe if one point I would have said yes, but right now Thorin didn't know. No, I don't no. want picking up. I'm okay. Oh. Thank you. Um, I mean, I guess I keep the berserkers for now. To yeah. Larry, safety. Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I think I think we I think you deserve a present, Larry. Uh. Um, what, what do you want? A cap? A cape? No. 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 no That's all. No. You sure? I'm sure. I'm sure, Krask, You can. How about I, you I, shut I, up for twenty four hours? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Krask is gonna like look around as if like. <laughs> 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 Who are you talking to? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Usually, I'm a lot more calm. My wire is just incredibly thin right now. I I'm get really it. Tired. I get it, Terry. I get that it. That is I, the I know. funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Terry. I should have asked you as well. Would you like a cat or a cape? No, I don't want a cape. Or a sword. I don't, I <laughs> sword. Really don't want a cape. I'm not the sword person. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, we should really be checking the corpses that are left. See if we can find anything of the value or clues or any even have an idea of how they actually got here. Turi just looks at her enlarged fingers and it's kind of like, I don't maybe, think maybe I not you, Turi. You, 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 you stay there. Yeah. Yes. Can I just like take some of the teeth or whatever's left and use the trophy? And if you want to fetch these tusks, are going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why, remember, yes. bounty. Yep. Oh, yeah. We need proof that we killed all these demons for the bounty. I'm sorry, I kind of exploded a couple of them. So they were only the rocks pay from from the glyph <laughs> from, from the teleportation circle with a glyph on it, and just be like, I got it. Can't really take so a picture, right, can we? They yeah. they were willing to pay an extra two thousand five hundred gold for every creature a capable of using the suspected teleportation circle. So that's oh, three arcanoloths. Which are both, all three are still in physical form. So who got disintegrated? Just so a... you know. And Aaron, yeah, yes, and then now Feshni, I think? Yeah. Okay, yes. okay. So we've still got plenty of... Okay. Do the Arcanoloths, because they're like magical people, do they have anything interesting on them? Like books or notes? So, uh, um, one Arcanoloth has a metal rod. Well, two, two, of them, two of them have metal rods. One, you feel, is attuned to the material plane. And another, you feel, is attuned to the Nine Hells. Jeez. Grab it. Can I, right. grab it. Can I take those rods? That's very interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so should I just put... Do I know what... I'm, I mean, I'm assuming myself that it's a rod of teleportation of some kind, but... No, know... Literally, so it's... Um, if you look at the plane shift spell... I mean, I, you yeah. need, like, a thing that's it's attuned yeah. in order to move between yeah. planes... Yeah. So, so it's literally the material component. So theoretically, oh, with this fork, you There's could a metal rod. shift. We can get there and back again, you basically. Got Assuming you know the teleportation circle in. on their side, you could plane shift. Gotcha, gotcha. There. So it's like it's like a tuning fork, kind of for the mm-hmm. for the dimensions. Yeah. For the for the, oh. for the two planes. Well, yeah. If, if, yeah, if you had the plane shift, tuning spell, fork for your teleportation spell. spell. But for teleportation circle, you'd need to know a teleportation. Teleportation circle in yeah. the Nine Hells. Okay, so right now, obviously, I can't go there because I don't no. know any circles. But we've got one piece, one, one very handy piece. 
Very interesting, though. That means potentially if we need to go there in the future, which I think. Or we if might. we're stuck there for whatever reason, we can get back. As also well. true. Yeah, if we go, assuming like, nobody's gone through Krask's pockets. Of course. Well, what yeah. happened with the Merkel priests? I think this is a very helpful thing indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh Lucas? yeah. Yep. As a teleport circle man, I'll I'll keep that then. Makes sense. I'll yeah, just decapitate them all and put the heads in my. Uh... But then don't you need plane shift? Uh, you need plane shift specifically, though. Teleportation circle. No, uh, you need plane shift. If he, if he's yep. on, if we're in hell. And Krusk has a tuning fork to the material plane. He can get us to any teleportation circle here. Mm -hmm. But he needs plane if shift no, to do that. Teleportation shift. circle won't do that. He has yeah, to do no, the spell correct. plane shift. Uh, yeah, correct. I can so learn he needs it. To so plane shift to do maybe that. Maybe okay. on when when can I change my spells on level up? Is it? You need it's a seventh level spell anyway. Oh, okay, fine. So you <laughs> you've got a while. You've got a while. Fair while. Um, so. On the Akanaloth, you find like component pouches on each of them, um, and the smattering of, um, oh, what's the bloody words? Um, uh, you find you find basically some material components for for some other spells. Um, if I oh, can... well, bits like that get consumed, like diamonds and yes. Uh, I just need to. I've got some note down of some of the spells that they had. Um, While Matt's what? looking through that, I just want to let everyone know I rolled a nat one on my um death saving. Throw, oh my so god! No. Oh. If, you, if you lightning lured me, I would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I forgot it would uh, like make you lose a death, like a death yeah. saving. Yeah. Any damage does that. So yeah, literally anything in attacked Tyrion. Man, that would have been very awkward. I just zap you, and you're just dead by the time I really yeah. do. In my head, I was like. There's a very good chance that this other Eren Yez might just do a double Coup de tap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was worried about that as well. I thought they might do it as like a, fuck, we're dead anyway. Why not, you know, like mutilate their dead friends sort of thing? Yeah. At least make yeah. sure one's dead. <laughs> oh, you, brought, yeah. um, you brought them, you brought uh, Tirigotha back fairly quickly overall. That's true. Yeah, we got mm. lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping people so, dead bad. Keeping people unconscious is just a bad thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you find basically uh, across the three Akanloths, you find a handful of diamonds, about eight across across the three of them, eight diamonds worth about fifty gold each. You want to take those? <laughs> I'll take the. Yeah, I'll take I'll those. Take... They're not good enough quality for the spell, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, are they not? You need them to be worth hundred gold, don't you? Can we combine them? You can, yeah, like, you can like combine, combine like, yeah. Uh, can you? So get them. I'll let you combine them. No, it's I'll, more I'll, I'll, I'll take those. So there's eight eight diamonds worth fifty gold. Yeah, I'll take those. Yeah, you find, you do find a spell book on one of them, Ooh. written in a language of some Epistle? kind. Epistle. It is infernal. I always get confused. Abyssal, abyssal Inferno abyssal, abyssal, different, abyssal, abyssal. Abyssal. Yeah, one's one's <laughs> de one's devils and one's demons. Ah, okay. I only speak Abyssal. Ooh. Can I take yeah. the spell book? It might you can. Be interesting there. So you can even try and sell it if you wanted to. But it's a an Akanaloth. Just write it down. It's a Akanaloth spell book in Infernal. If um, so, let's to be say cursed, I'm not going to be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> let's say um. Uh, I could translate it. I find someone to translate it, and they've got something like plane shift there, which. Is it possible for me to learn it, or am I like not advanced enough? So it's um, if you're a wizard, you could write it down in your spell book. Because mm -hmm. you're a sorcerer, it doesn't quite work that way in terms of how you gain spells. No. Okay. Um, you could pay. Actually, I, I prefer if you could get it translated. I could say you could use it as a, um, a spell scroll. Spell scroll. Ah, okay, okay, that's fair. That's nice. okay. Thanks. Can you learn? So if you, so yeah, if you're able, to, you're capable of learning the spells as a um, sorcerer, you can use it as a spell scroll. But you only use it obviously the once. Mm -hmm. Sure, gotcha. Um, so yeah. Um, also, for impressive acts of healing throughout the course of this combat. Lara, you deserve a point of inspiration. Thank you. Very, very yeah, amazing work. You held that whole thing like together pretty good. Yeah, kept us going. 
Turn the, turn the tide multiple times. Which is oh, yes. fantastic yeah. work. Yeah. Having and is awesome. I should have died like six times. Yeah. 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 And the driving force behind the pit fiend um, being away as well. Very impressive oh, stuff. Yeah. I was, yeah, if the pit fiend was there, we would have definitely lost. I literally have, well, I, I casted a couple of like random spells at the end there, but in actuality, I had three one, level one slots left at the end. By the end of all that. Yeah, no, that that's pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, next time on the Ascendant Lands, you will likely return happy heroes to Mishra City. But where to next? What will you guys do? Who knows? Until next time on the Ascendant Lands. <laughs>